What's up, YouTube? Capital G here talking about the Vendred archetype in this video. And this isn't going to be a discussion on like the competitiveness of Vendreds or their potential within the matter or any weird card interactions that I kind of discovered that can make them broken or anything like that. I'm actually going to be discussing the lore of the archetype. And I don't generally discuss lures on this channel, you know, outside of like the dual terminal because a lot of archetypes either don't have them like the anime ones or they're just honestly not that interesting. But this is kind of an exception because this is an archetype that is a TCG exclusive and we know where this theme comes from or at least I'm going to say 99.9% .9 certain that I know where Konami drew inspiration from this archetype and it is so freaking cool. Now some of you guys probably saw Slayer yesterday and you got kind of an idea because I looked at it and I said hmm this looks suspicious like a, a certain comic book character that was really big in the 90s and is kind of famous and has been in a Soul Calibur game or two and I was like okay well you know I'm not going to bring it in my video because I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to look like a fool or something like that. But then we got a really good look at the Ritual Spell card, and I was just like, there is no way that this is a coincidence, because keep in mind that a lot of the images that were leaked yesterday, they were really low quality, and they were dark, and it was kind of hard to kind of tell what was going on, but now we have high quality images, guys, and it is just 100% confirmed at this point. Konami has clearly taken inspiration from the comic book character Spawn, and for those of you guys who just are not familiar with Spawn, maybe you don't know who he is, this is Spawn. He's a badass of a character. Um, I actually, I'm just going to be honest, I wasn't the biggest Spawn fan growing up, but my brother was so big into it when we were kids, man. He used to have Spawn shirts when we were like, uh, when he was like 13 and whatnot, and I remember seeing the movie as a kid, the uh, the Spawn movie from the 90s. That movie was so fucking terrible, uh, the one with Michael J. White and um, uh, John Leguizamo as the villain, but to be honest, like in Spawn's defense, all superhero movies from the 90s were pretty much like just fucking terrible. Um, freaking Batman and Robin was like, Oh, God, that one was just maybe the worst movie of all time. But, yeah, you can see the obvious similarities between Slayer and Spawn. Like, even look at his chest and look at the thing on his chest, and then you look at Spawn and just the really big cape. Because if I'm not mistaken, again, I'm not an expert on Spawn, but I believe that his cape is actually alive. You look at the eyes and the mask, and somebody did a really good job. This was posted on Facebook. It's actually a picture. Let's see if I can pull it up. It's a picture from what's it called? It's a picture from the Spawn movies, or it's a bunch of uh, clips from the Spawn movies, and then the cards kind of side by side. And it's like the perfect thing, man. It's like the perfect match. Like, look. Look at Spawn and look at Slayer. Like, it's the same exact guy, man, clearly. And, um... I'm not 100% sure on Spawn's backstory, but I know that he was married because I remember that scene in the movie where he's like kind of like he's hanging around his wife or something like that when he's in his crazy Spawn form like this. And then you look at uh, what's it called? You look at Slayer and he has this locket and obviously it shows when he and his wife were married or maybe that's his girlfriend or something. But you can clearly see that they're taking inspiration from the comic book Spawn. And I think I'll end the video by asking the question, do you guys like when Konami does this? Do you guys like when they take inspiration from uh, licensed franchises? franchises and actually now that I think about it I kind of implied that this was the first time that we knew the franchises that these things were based off of but when you think about Cosmo obviously that Star Wars meets the Wizard of Oz and I personally love this man you know this makes me feel very nostalgic I watched the Wizard of Oz when I was a kid I remember being forced by my big brother to watch all three Star Wars movies in one freaking day man that was like that was in my entire Saturday he forced us to watch all three Star Wars movies at once the original trilogy but I kind of like this stuff i remember uh you know watching the spawn movie as a kid i remember uh seeing the spawn comic book characters and stuff and i think this is pretty cool and what do you guys think could be next or i guess a better question would be what type of uh, licensed franchise would you like to see konami maybe design an archetype off of because i've been saying for years at least for three four years konami really needs to have a pirate archetype i mean we got one piece my favorite anime we got the pirates of the caribbean obviously those movies are great come on come on konami make a pirate archetype happen i've been waiting for forever man so anyways whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already this video has been brought to you by audible get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audible.com slash mega capital g over 180,000 titles to choose from on your mobile device i'm listening to the amazing i can't make this up by kevin hart link in the description
And also, actually, one last thing, because I know I'm going to just have to address this a couple of times. Yes, I am an affiliate of Audible. Before everybody's, oh, my God, Cap G, sell out, boys, unsubscribe. Just understand that, yes, it is pretty much me advertising Audible. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a business partnership between me and Audible. And, yeah, it helps me make money. It helps them make money. It's, you know, part of being an adult, guys. I don't understand why everybody kind of villainizes money and makes it seem like earning money is a bad thing. Uh, I can't really think of many YouTubers who are over 20,000 subscribers who either a are not sponsored by somebody whether that be Gemmer or some other playmat design company or some website that sells Yu-Gi-Oh cards or b has a patreon so it's like everybody else is basically sponsored i don't really get the big deal with me being sponsored being an adult you gotta make money so that's that